gamers, and welcome to Question and Answer 2019. That's right, Q&A 2019. I do one of these every year, and why not knock it out early? It's January, we can knock it out right at the beginning of the year. A lot's happened since the last Q&A, so it seems like perfect timing. And maybe we'll get on a schedule where we do it every January, so you guys can look forward to the Q&A in the fresh year. All right, uh, let's get right into it. Let's start Question and Answer in Sword, of course. Let's start cutting through some questions. Still don't know why I have the sword with me. I just always do during the Q&As. <clears throat> Shane Top says, what's, uh, how are you? I'm, uh, you know, dude, I'm, I'm doing stuff. You? You all good? Thank you, Shane, for the awkward question. I heard it in your voice, too. It's weird. Damien Haas, it feels like I know these guys that are asking these questions. If you could have a conversation with your 10-year-old self, what is one thing you tell them to focus on and one thing to avoid? Focus on getting started as early as possible. I think I've said this before, but I was making videos in college. It was my major. I could have been getting a YouTube channel or at least some sort of online portfolio going and I didn't. Uh, I just kind of made them and submitted them for class or credit or whatever and then kind of went on with my life. But start as early as possible and own your own channel as early as possible because that's very important. And then one thing to avoid, Japanese giant hornets. They're huge, they're like this big, and he, he won't run into any, I guess, because I'm mean now and I haven't run into any. But me talking to him could have changed his course through history, and I, I, would, I would like him to avoid those and never run into those. And just, it's always a good reminder. Stay away from Japanese giant hornets. They go for the eyes first, it's weird. Also, if you could show him your life now, gaming, YouTuber, married, house, kid, etc., what would he say? He'd probably be like, wait, you can be a professional YouTuber? That's a real thing? You just play video games? I didn't think that was real. Well, the future sounds dandy now. Um, he'd probably say that. About the house, he'd probably be like, all right, decent house. I mean, the house I grew up in is bigger. It's a two-story house and stuff. But I explained to him, location, location, location. I mean, this is, uh, this is uh, Los Angeles adjacent home. So, you know, property values are going up and stuff. Miss Habit says, if you toot in a forest and nobody is around to smelt it, was it really dealt? Well, you would be around to smelt it, uh, Miss Habit, Amy Lynn. So I think, uh, yes, it was dealt. Also, uh, one quick thing, Amy, can you look at that for me? That was below the waist, right? That's a circle. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, thank you for asking a question, though. I see you tweeting circles at me. My revenge will be swift. Looks like, I think we each get to punch each other a lot the next time we see each other. Ask Cheek Valley Needs Juice, interesting name, says, what's the best and worst part about leaving Defy? Uh, the worst part's pretty obvious. It's, uh, I don't get to see my friends every day and go into the office. It's like all the Smosh games and Smosh Squad, as well as the Warp Zone was at that office. That kind of sucks, you know? I miss seeing those guys every day. We had a lot of fun together. Um, also, the other worst part, they owe me money, lots of money. When they went under, uh, my channels were in their network. That was part of the deal for me getting my channel back. And uh, and yeah, they just they took the money that I was being paid out and they just kept it in and said, oh, we're bankrupt, we don't have your money anymore. So yeah, still angry about that. The best part about leaving is I'm not owned by a giant corporation now. The only corporation I'm involved with is a corporation called Lasercorn Industries. And I know the boss there, so I can get away with whatever I want. CG Cortez says, any updates on Toaster Ghost? Uh, thank you for asking this question. You're not the only person that asked this question. And uh, yeah, I guess I should really update on that. So we shot this whole video, and the reason we have all been silent about it is because we're like, we're gonna release this video and that'll explain everything. Um, but uh, we're on hiatus is basically what happened. And the video didn't get released because we pretty much packed up the office and left and shot the video like one of the last days we were there and we're like, yeah, someone will get this edited and stuff. But uh, the I don't even know where the footage is right now. It kind of got lost in the shuffle. So I don't know if that's ever coming out. So I'll go ahead and address it. We're on hiatus. We're on indefinite hiatus. And uh, I'll speak for myself because uh, we all had uh, certain issues. But um, so uh, it was kind of a long drive when I when we first got the office space. But we said, oh, it's cool, you know, Jesse Cox is there and Dodger and the completionist, awesome, awesome team, it's worth the long drive. And it totally was, but then I, uh, I moved even farther away when I bought this house. And then in addition to that, I had a place where I could set up my own office uh, instead of being paying for office space. And the, the longer drive after moving was killing my soul. <laughs> and uh, 
in addition to that, uh, the channel, we were paying for office space and supplies and stuff, but the channel wasn't really making any money. It was kind of a, uh, a negative earner. Compound that with the fact that it's very hard to get us all together. You know, Pam's been pretty open with the fact that she's having health issues. Um, and when she is healthy, she's in very high demand. Uh, she's getting a lot of gigs right now, which is awesome. Love to see her doing big things. Uh, Amy has a full-time job. She makes VR games, uh, as many of you know. So her schedule's a little tight as well. And so Hinky, as you know, is on that Facebook streaming grind. He's very serious about it. Anyone who follows his Facebook knows he streams a lot. And I have a family and stuff, as well as the long drive and everything I mentioned earlier. Uh, so in the end, it just, it wasn't working. But you never know until you try. And we had a lot of fun together and like, I don't have any regrets about it. So yeah, we might put videos on that channel at some point in the future, uh, but we don't have any plans to right now. We're all kind of working on our own stuff. And you can see a lot of the members of Toaster Ghost right here on this channel. Uh, and I'm hoping to do a lot more collaborations with them coming up in 2019. So there you go, that's the Toaster Ghost update. Brian Feo asks, what was your favorite Smosh memory? Uh, that would probably be the cabin we had for Winter Games. When we were all together, that was really cool. We had the Smosh Squad, the Smosh Game Squad. We were doing put it in my mouth and crazy sledding videos and I busted out my snowboard at one point. They had the uh, sex tub. It was the advent of the sex tub from Joe Beretta. There's a bunch of great pictures we got from that. He just started taking weird pictures in the tub. And we all, just all had a blast and it was a really cool, chill environment. We played a lot of Quiplash and Ping Pong and stuff. And yeah, that's probably my best Smosh games memory. Tough Donut says, what is your favorite game of all time? I think I've answered this before, but one more time, Portal 2. Portal 2 is amazing. It's got a great story, awesome voice acting, very funny, innovative gameplay, amazing puzzles. It's just an all around great game. George Sockwin says, when will you join Damien Haas on one of his streams so you can both do the evil laser laugh? He's pretty good at it. Soon, we've actually talked about that. The last time we spoke, uh, we met up and we, we were like, oh, yeah, I'd totally be down to come on your stream. So hopefully we'll get that figured out. I'll drop in for one of his streams and we'll have a blast together. Cause yeah, uh, I've watched a couple of his streams. It looks like he's having fun and I'd, I'd love to jump in one soon. Seven, Reed Miller says, who would win in a fight, Noah or Keith? I don't know, Keith is very quick. Uh, I chased him around the beach in that one video. I don't even remember what video it was. Summer Games or something. So he's very fast. And then you got uh, Noah, who's been working out. He's got those, he's got pretty long arms. He's got some reach. So if I had to make a call, I'd say me. I would appear out of nowhere and defeat both of them. Feisty DWTS says, have you ever lost Tyler yet? I have, it was in a Target. And I pushed my cart into the elevator and I'm like, come on, buddy. But he didn't quite make it. And I turned around just to see the elevator door closing on him. And I'm like, no, 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 stay right there. And uh, I only went down one floor, but I left my cart at the bottom and I sprinted back up the steps and I found him and he was starting to freak out. But a mom had come over and was calming him down. Someone else's mom, not Tyler's mom. Tyler's mom wasn't there, but, uh, and was calming him down. And he's like, <laughs> daddy. And I'm like, I'm right here, buddy. And I came and scooped him up before anything bad happened. So that was the one time I've lost Tyler. Hopefully I don't lose him again, because it was a very stressful experience on both of us. Laney says, what's your favorite uh, Joven Shire laser corn fight? Uh, that's gotta be the Sock and Bopper office fight. We're fighting through the whole office. We're both shirtless for some reason. A puppy showed up. We had Sohinky announcing it. It was a great epic battle. There's some great slow-mo shots in there. And yeah, I don't think we've done anything that tops that yet. Although if you have a battle you like even better, leave that in the comments. Elijah Carruthers says, can you tell us if you ever got so lost you went into another state? No, but once when me and my wife were on a road trip in Canada, she was holding the map upside down for some reason, and we went really, really far in the wrong direction, and it was all her fault. And how do you hold the map upside down and not notice that the words are the wrong way and stuff? I don't know how she did it, but it was still fun and we still had a blast and we laughed, laughed about it afterwards, so it's all good. Ogre says, when will your son start destroying you at video games? Rather, when will the student become the master? Never. Tyler, if you're listening right now, I will always beat you. Daddy loves you, but daddy cannot let you win. That's not how the world works. Laisha Lewis says, how is the family doing? And is there any shows you watch together? The family's doing good. Uh, my wife just finished a physical therapy assistance course at her school. That was about a one and a half year course. And then Tyler's doing good, he's still in daycare. As far as shows we watch together, me and Brina will watch shows together. We're watching Mr. Robot right now. We watched Barry on HBO. Tyler has terrible taste in shows though. He wants to watch Paw Patrol or Top Wing, and those are awful shows. 
So we don't really binge watch so much with him. I'm trying to get him into Adventure Time. He used to watch it, but ever since he could start saying Top Wing, uh, it's, been, it's been a problem. But uh, yeah, we're trying to get him into better shows. Right now he has terrible taste in shows, so when he puts his on, well, I'll put on headphones or something or try to do something else. Because his shows are really bad. San says, are you Damien and Mari still friends after playing Mario Party on your channel? Yes. Luckily for me, I have experience getting angry at people I play video games with and then still being friends with them afterward. That's kind of been my job for the last 10 or so years. Almost 10 years, something like that. So yeah, we have a lot of experience. It wasn't very nice what they did, but, uh, but you know, these things happen and I will get my revenge. By the way, side note on that, Daniel Pewter claimed uh, all the monetization from that video because I did the had a bad day montage at the end. Hey Daniel, I have a question for you. How, what are you doing with my money? How's spending that laser coin money? I'm just messing around of course. It wasn't that much money and besides, I'm sure it's just your record label claiming it. I don't think you actually have any control over what happened. The AJ Richardson says, would you ever put a long form tabletop role playing game into consideration for the channel? You know, as something to branch into, I feel you'd be a great role player. I love that idea and I actually, yes, have been thinking about that. I gotta get this office space figured out and cleaned up and I gotta get a table in here to do that and figure out how we would shoot it. But yeah, that is definitely something I'm considering. In the meantime, if you wanna see me role playing in a long form D&D type situation, check out the Banner Saga over on Hyper RPG's YouTube channel and I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a bunch of very talented people and a very talented DM playing through an amazing scenario. So yeah, check that out. Jade Louise says, would you do a babysitting video with the rest of the Smosh cast, including Squad? I'd like to get people cycling in and do babysitting videos, like the surprise babysitting video we did on the channel. Uh, it wouldn't be surprises for everyone because they've probably seen the video by now, but just get them in and see how they interact with Tyler. Yeah, I think that would be fun. That is something I'm planning on doing, yes. Chrissy in 2019 says, what has been your favorite game bang and punishment? I really enjoyed Smash Brothers 8-man game bang. That was really fun. And the punishment was great because I got to mash mashed potatoes into Ian's face and I didn't lose. If you're talking about my favorite punishment that I personally have done, that would probably be the Hulk prank phone call way, way back in one of the very first game bangs. I think that was the Avengers Connect game bang that that was in. William Quack says, what is your favorite multiplayer game right now? It is Smash Brothers and adding on to that, we had a comment that I didn't write it down, but I think it was Shino or Shino who asked, who is the most annoying person to play against in Smash Brothers? And that is Damien Haas, because he's really good, and when he beats you, he goes, <laughs> looks like you need more training. And it's very obnoxious, and I hate him, so I have to get better. I have to train more so I can defeat him. Carolyn Olsen says, if you could collab with any YouTuber outside of the Smosh game squad, who would it be and why? That's a good question. Let's do someone that I haven't already collaborated with, because I have gotten to collaborate with a lot of people I did want to work with. Uh, the Game Grumps, Harley of Epic Meal Time, Jesse Cox the Completionist, Fun House we got to play Overwatch against. So I've collaborated with a lot of people already. But let's go, uh, I really like Video Game Donkey. I really like how it should have ended. Jacksepticeye is great. And of course, Day 9, Spellslingers. I'm wearing a Spellslinger shirt right now. If I could get Day 9 to accept my challenge and face me in magic, that would be awesome. Because I'd love to play him. I think I could crush him. Although, you never know, he's a tricky one. Jordan says, favorite song artist at the moment. Uh, let's do Tokyo Police Club Hot Tonight. Let's play a little clip of that. I don't know if that dancing lined up or not. The music won't be in until editing. That's my favorite song right now. They sound different. I got to do them in college. They sound way different now, but not different in a bad way, different in a good way. So yeah, that's my favorite song. Hopefully they won't claim this video like uh, Daniel did, but you know, if they do, it's, it's fine. I use their music. They deserve the royalties, I guess. Anyway, that's it for Q&A 2019. Uh, I will see you next year for Q&A, but coming up in the not too distant future, more gameplay and maybe some commentary on some specific stuff, and then, uh, and then, yeah, you know, just getting back on my grind for this channel in 2019. That's my resolution. All right, I'll see you all next time. Sword Chief! Thank you to all my Flamethrower level Patreon supporters for helping me make this content. If you want to become a Patreon supporter, you can go ahead and click the link right over here, or just subscribe to my channel by clicking right over here, or if you just want to see another video, you can go ahead and click right over here. And don't forget to check me out at facebook.com slash lasercorn where I've been streaming a lot lately. Thanks. See ya.